Alrighty, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right. Welcome back to the Vessel Free. That's me, baby. If you're new, love to have you. And if you're returning, thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right. So what I have for you guys, um, Gemini, I'm going to go back and start using more of my Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards because that we out on accident energy, just period. Okay. So um, what I have here, I, I drew um, two cards here. And at the, at the bottom of the deck, we have Autumn, Release the Old and Yeah, Release the Old and Rest. Okay. And right underneath that, we have Winter, Take Care of Your Needs. All right, so I feel like you guys are doing a lot of releasing at this time, old burdens, old versions of yourself that cannot come, you know, I feel like, I feel like you're going through a rebirth as well. It's like um, within the midst of transformation, um, it's giving very much the death card, Scorpio energy. Um, some of you guys can have that in your chart or be dealing with one, but I kind of feel like some of you guys might really have Scorpio in your energy um, which is basically talking about the death and rebirth, you know, nothing ever, you know, dies. It's always transformed, reborn, right? Um, one, 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 as I said that, so that old version of yourself, it's like, it's, it's dead it off and you are rebirthing this new version of you. I feel like you're very fertile at this time. Could be, you know, um, when I say fertile, I mean like more so an energy of, if you have a business, being able to plant that seed and produce your fertile, you have a lot of, um, opportunities. It's like whatever seeds you've been planting, this is the time now to kind of like grasp that. That's why I feel like you're being guided to release the old rest. Rest, relax, take care of yourself, get more rest. After that coming rest, rejuvenate. All right. I have a card that says rest, rejuvenate, and then take off. All right. So I feel like some of you guys could be in hermit mood. All right. Taking time to yourself, taking time to reflect. Um, this is the perfect energy at this time to do so. All right. Especially with, um, with full moon, would we have, uh, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, in Pisces, right? Um, and being able to, I'm hearing, I want to say prioritize, but I feel like reprioritize. So maybe your temperance energy, Sagittarius energy, maybe you're making, um, you're alchemizing a lot. You're figuring out what works, what doesn't. And I feel like there's a situation where it's not like something doesn't work. It's just like, it needs more fuel or it needs to be checked over again. There needs to be some alterations, right? Especially when it comes to priorities, all right? Taking care of your needs. I also have here the stargazer as well as guardian angel. Set your sights higher. There's something I feel that you're manifesting that maybe you're like, I want this. Like people are like, okay, I want to be, um, for example, it doesn't have to be, I want to be a singer. I want to be a musician. I want to be an artist. All right. And it's like spirits, like, you know, that that's great and all. We're going to bless you with that. But there's something about, look at my broken. <laughs> Sorry. Y there's something about, um, the energy of, Set your set your standards higher, set your dreams higher because there's so much more to be accomplished. There's so much more that you can set your intentions in rather than I just want to be this and stop there. Because spirits like we're not stopping there. We want to take you above and beyond. So something about um whatever you're manifesting, whatever your intentions are, whatever you're whether this is a person, opportunity, something that you're birthing, it's like set your sights higher. It's like don't just say, Oh, I want an abundance of money. How much money do you really want? How do you wanna how do you want to reach that? What what form do you want that to be a passive income? Do you want that to be right? Three, three, three as I say that spirits like I um, you know, some of you guys can be very psychic and you're having visions about, you know, the future of how you how you see your life. I'm hearing um as well as futuristic and realism, all right, are two big words in this read as well. Um something about, yeah, just set your standards higher. Not that you have low standards. It's that Okay, God is like, it's like the the, the, the universal God, is. It, it, it's like, you're much more than what you're aware of. Where you think you're going, that's just the beginning. And that might even feel like the the um the end of the race for you. But it's like, no, nah, that's just the beginning. We're going to take you above and beyond. We're going to take you higher and higher. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exceed your expectations. I'm going to overfill that cup. We need you to set that intention. All right. And I feel like you're not doing this alone with this guardian angel here. You have a lot of loved ones, a lot of ancestors with this feather here, spirit guides, sudden masters, really, really helping you. I'm hearing training, training you for when preparation meets opportunity. But something about that opportunity, 432, when I said that, something about that opportunity, it's like, with this, with this, set the sights higher. It's, it's something that's going above and beyond. All right, you are able, you are more capable of what I feel like you are um, doing right now. If that makes sense. That's why I feel like you're in this place of, you know, releasing the, 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 the debris, the, the old that can no longer. Um, it's like if past 
heartache or hardships are seeping into this new beginning, that's why spirit has you in this place of rest. It's almost like this place of, all right, if you need more time to heal, I'm going to give you that. But also in that time of healing, right, because healing is never ending, we need you to set those intentions because you're going somewhere that you don't even know you're going, right? Um, but I actually want to read out this book. They have really good um, information in here. I want to read the Stargazer card. Some of you guys could be, you know, wishing on a shooting star, uh, staring at the stars, gazing at the stars. Because in both of these cards, you have the stars, right? Um, and with the eye here, I feel like it's very protected. I feel like your ancestors are protecting you, protecting your dreams, protecting your visions. All right. But they also, you know, along with what you want, they're going to give you what you need first. All right. So let's look at the stargazer. Somebody could be 21. You could be 21. Um, let's look at the stargazer. All right. Stargazer, go beyond your limitations and believe that the impossible is, is possible. It's like when you set your intentions, write something that you think is impossible, right? And understand that you can even accomplish that, right? Because anything is possible. Anything can be manifested, all right? Um, exactly. Do you ever remember wishing on a star when you were a child and in your innocence, believing that your wish would come true because it can and because it will? The stargazer connects with the energy of the cosmos and reminds you that you have the ability to draw and support from the universe. The universe is not only supporting you, but your manifestations, your dreams, your desires. All right. Um, his cloak here that you see in this picture, when with its sparkles and light shows that you are closer to the energy of the universe than you think. You're more tapped in than you are aware of. All right. Is what I'm getting here. You're, you're, you're highly connected. All right. Um, you don't have to go out looking for it. It's already here. It's already within you. It's taking me back to that place. Um, when God said, let there be light, he was speaking of you. Right. Um, there's the, y'all know I love laundry. Yeah, I love laundry. Yeah, that, that's one of his songs as well. You are the light. You are the light, right? So everything that you need is giving the magician card in my third eye here. You have all the tools that you need, all of the elements. You have everything that you need, the passion, the structure, the discipline, the consistency. What else am I missing here? The love, the um, the um, healthy emotional attachment, right? And as well as the, I'm missing, I'm missing air, as well as the intellect to bring in this manifestation, to bring in anything that you that you desire. It's so true. It's so true. 747 when I say that. All right. So look beyond where you are, or in other words, look beyond the 3D. All right. Some of you guys are breaking out of the matrix or it's like you, you're, you're, it's like, I, I, I seen something where, and I very much agree where when you come out of the matrix, some people, it's an understanding of some people break out, but some people break out so that you can come back and relay that information, relay that testimony, relay, you know, what you discovered, what you found, that information that you gained to help others do the same thing. All right. Um, so look beyond where you are and create even bigger dreams, visions, and goals, because with the power placed inside you and help of the cosmos, those wishes can, and not only can they, they will come true as long as you believe it. Nothing works without belief. Nothing works without belief. You have to believe, right? The extended message on this card is you are on the verge of a miracle. You are the miracle. You are the miracle. You are the blessing. All of your dreams and aspirations are within your grasp and you are being guided to focus on your vision. Some of you guys are in, in um, deep tunnel vision. The angels who are with you are encouraging you. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing that you cannot achieve. Nothing. There's an opportunity at this time to heal old wounds. That's why we have the autumn release, um, the old and rest here, because it's like spirit knows what you need even when you don't. So even though you're going, 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 they're like, we need, we need a time. We need a time for rest. We need to reanalyze. And as well as understand that the, the vision that you are manifesting, which, which you're working so hard for is possible. It's possible. You are able to go above and beyond. All right. And so you are. In the past, you've often found it impossible to recognize your worth and to believe that you were deserving of blessings. That time is no more. That time ends right now. You deserve love. You deserve this blessing. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. But do you believe it? 
You are worth it. You are worth it. You are worth it. Always have been, always will be. And that's just period. Um, Angel and ancestor wisdom is reminding you that you are incredible and infinite spark of the universe. You are a part of the universe. All right. And the universe is not only within you. If you are manifesting in the, and, and, and the universe is placed in you, that, that light placed in you, that God, God is energy in you, right? There is not nothing out of reach because it is, you're sitting with it every single day, right? It's just the realization, believing that, right? Um, you are talented, filled with strength and have the abilities you need to turn your wildest dreams into reality. You can bring, it's, it's, you have a brain, as long as you have a brain and you have an imagination, you can turn those thoughts into reality. And that's why I feel like, you know, me included, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's important to be careful of, of your own mind, of your own thoughts, because, because your thoughts, whether you realize it or not, do manifest into the reality. So you want to always, you know, be cautious of what you're thinking. All right. And, you know, sometimes that's easier said than done because I am definitely a person who, you know, if I have to, if I have negative thoughts, I have to that whole day, replace it with a positive thought, replace it with a positive thought, a positive thought, a positive thought. And then eventually you're going to see that, that those negative thoughts dead off. You're just going to be like, I'm just, you're going to be in this energy of bliss. You're going to be in that energy of realizing who you are, your worth, your worth. All right. All of that. Your wildest dreams can and will be manifested. All right. Somebody is a, is a super magic manifester. Believe that. Know that all the tools are placed within you. You don't need nothing else. You got it. You got it, girl. You got it. All right. You got it, boy. You got it. And that's period. All right. Like, period. Don't let nobody, you know, what I'm hearing. Forget what I hit. I got to say. All right. Let's get to guardian angel. And this one says, watch for signs and reminders from your angels. This is the one right here. This is your sign and reminder. And your loved ones that are close by. All right. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. When you see this, two, 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 as I said that, when you see these signs and synchronicities, when you get somebody gets um, very uh, clairsentient feelings of your loved ones, warm energy of them around you, believe that that is them because it is. All right. The guardian angel card shows the white feather here, um, which is also known as the guardian angel's business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life, or this card in a reading, it's a message to say your guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with their love, sending you a lot of love and light energy, comforting you, all right? You are never alone. Somebody could have found a white feather recently, all right? And that was your sign or seen one. It doesn't have to be, you know, you found one on the ground, you could have seen a picture on social media, whatever, all right? Um, if you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. All right. Divine intervention in the works. All right. Um, everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all of the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. You know, 333, as I say this, um, what's the song that I had here? I had a song that said, um, you catch me vibing by my lonely hey, while I manifest my fruits. You catch me vibing by my lonely hey, 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 I'm putting magic stones to use, okay? You catch me vibing by my lonely, but no, I'm not alone, all right? You catch me vibing by my lonely, but no, I'm not alone, all right? That's what this is giving me. They catch you vibing by your lonely, so they assume that you're alone. You're never alone. You never were. You never will be. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it and then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. All right. So that's what we have with the um, guardian angel card here and the magic at the bottom of the deck. You could be 31. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow, expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. You are meant to accomplish the impossible. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. That's what I'm saying. Do you believe? 
Do you believe in magic? The magic that was placed in you. All right. We're going to pull um, one more card here. All right, we're going to pull one more card here. Ease and grace. With the cut the cords at the bottom of the deck, a lot of you guys are cutting out this, this negative energy that could have been, you guys could have been surrounded by. All right. Or it could have been your own um, negative energy. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. While you're cutting that cord, you see that star there? You're cutting, you're cutting that that energy, that negative energy, those, 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 whatever you're needing to cut cords with, right? But you don't see that you are with that with that star there. You're gaining your power back, your magic back just by doing this. All right. Spirit wants to bring you this manifestation in ease and grace. All right, you see how this all these all these wires here connected to what? To the divine, to the most high. All right. To your loved ones, to your ancestors, to your spirit guides. You were always plugged in, have always been plugged in, okay? And I feel like there's there's an energy of where you are moving into the moving through this transformation, or I really feel like like I'm saying there's a rebirth here with ease and grace. And 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 spirit wants to make it more graceful for you, a little easier for you, all right? I can't stop looking at these wires. You are plugged in. You are you are always and always will be connected. But maybe you didn't always realize it, realize it. And even when you realized it, maybe you didn't always believe it. This is the time to believe in your magic and your manifestation powers and your ability and you and understand that you deserve everything coming towards you. So that's what I have for you guys today. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and come back for your next read, baby. You are the power. You got the power. All right. And 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 continue doing what you're doing. All right. This is going to be, this is very beautiful. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Peace.